My name is Kara Kilmer, and my daughter attends Monitol Head Start in California, Missouri. And um, we have just really appreciated um, the staff at Monitol County Head Start. Um, my daughter loves it. She has learned a lot, anything from Spanish to um, her numbers. She can write her name and um, just the techniques that they used for her to be able to comprehend all that is uh, mind-boggling because it's definitely a technique that I would have never thought of using um, and making learning such um, an easy transition. I mean they're learning and they don't even realize that they're learning and so I really do appreciate that. Hi, my name is Amanda Goodwin. Um, my daughter is Olivia Goodwin and she has been attending um, early for, or First Start Learning Center in Glasgow, Missouri. Um, it is a partnership site um, which we receive funding for and it's been a wonderful experience for me. I um, also have parents as teachers that I do and they kind of run hand in hand. Um, it's really nice to be able to go in and be able to communicate with the staff and um, they give you reports every day of you know how she's doing, what they do. My favorite is the like the, I think it's quarterly actually, but they go in and they show you a big print out of all the fun, cute things that they've done, but it's a learning objective. So that's kind of my favorite part of the documentation that they do throughout the day. My name is Amanda Owen. My son Maxwell um, is soon to be four years old and he goes to the Howard County Head Start in Fayette and he's been going there for a little over six months. He is autistic and the structure in the center there is amazing for him. It's exactly what he needs. He loves his teachers. He loves his friends, the socialization. Um, he has progressed so much since he's been there and we couldn't be happier with the program. Um, the Head Start was also, um, the central office helped set up a sensory room for him so that when he is having a bad day and he does need a little extra help calming down and finding his center. He can go into the sensory room, um, take a break, um, like I said, find his center, and then return to the, the class when he's fine. Teachers are really good about you know asking him, do you need to go have a sensory break? And and so they they really encourage that, and and I love them for that. My name is Kayla White, and. My children attended Park Avenue. Uh, my daughter Rebecca has transitioned out to kindergarten. My son John is still going to be in Head Start. Um, my daughter Rebecca going into kindergarten, she is very ready. Um, the early ch childhood program has helped her a whole lot. She is above ready for kindergarten. John loves Head Start. Uh, we love the teachers there. They're, they get you involved with the program. Hi, my name is Andrea. I have a little girl who is at Park Avenue Early Head Start. Um, we've participated, my family has participated in several parent meetings and activities this year. Um, I think that we probably enjoyed most the activities that were um, interactive and we were able to read with the kids and eat lunch with the kids and exercise with the kids, just anything really to kind of get to know how she participates in her classroom on a daily basis and just kind of watch the relationships that have been um, grown between the other children in the class and between her and her teachers and so we really enjoyed that. Um, the time that we've spent in the classroom has really helped us to learn how to carry out some of the strategies that they're using at school to help her to develop at home and the same thing uh, we have a child who participates in first steps so her therapist are seeing her in her classroom there and we really are just super excited about all the good work um, that they're doing with her teachers there at school and that we um, are able to really just know that she's well taken care of at school and she's learning and growing there. Um, she comes home every day talking about her favorite teachers. Of course, Miss Arena, who is Miss Farina at Park Avenue Early Head Start is her favorite and we hear about her all the time. So. Um, Miss Alicia and Miss Shea are really great too, and we just really consider them part of our family, and so we're really excited to be a part of Early Head Start at Park Avenue. My name is Nisha Wright, and my son attended Cole East Head Start in Jefferson City, Missouri. Um, one of the parent mini topics that I enjoyed was just self-care for parents. I think a lot of parents are so focused on um, taking care of their child and running around and being with them that they like forget 
like to take care of themselves first and they had a lot of parent meetings about making sure you take care of yourself because if you don't like your kids they feel that energy and they can it can I mean go good or bad so I mean that was I really enjoyed that topic um what I enjoyed most um just being involved I know there's a lot of statistics that say um being involved with a kid it helps them learn more and just being involved is good so I mean um just being there is is good so I enjoyed that um other ways volunteering has helped I served on the policy council at Cole East and even though I wasn't with my child I was getting knowledge about my son's school and I could um, bring feedback back to the parents or whatever they wanted to tell me I can voice my opinion and put that there so I mean just getting involved is awesome and your kids will enjoy it and the teachers love it also um, my teachers or well, the teachers there are awesome um, I'm glad I had Cole East um, and my son loved it he's starting kindergarten so um, they definitely helped him and pushed him so yeah go Cole East <laughs> um, I also have enjoyed being part of the policy council um, it just was another eye-opener. Um, you see your centers and you see how they function and, and uh, what they do at that level. But to be on the policy council, you just get to see an even bigger picture of what goes on and um, the people that help to make things happen and the, the grants that we get from the government, but then also all the requirements that the government holds us up to a standard of it's just mind-boggling. It really is. Um, they're awesome, and I just appreciate this organization and what they do and what they um, give to our children and make our children so much more educated for when they go to school and, and all that kind of stuff. I'm very excited for what this program offers. Um, different activities that I've done with them. Um, has been policy council that's probably been the biggest thing every month we meet and um, discuss the different you know the budgets um, where we're going things they've done progress they've made any kind of grants that they are um, you know looking into they're very on top of things and kind of continuously looking for more money to fund um, new programs and expand on the ones they have so I find that very interesting and it's nice to kind of um, see pretty much you know well, where is your money going, you know? Um, my daughter really seems to be taking off with talking. She just turned two, and um, at first I was a little concerned because I'm a first-time mom, and, you know, I've always been reassured that she's right on track and actually advanced in some things. So it's kind of cool to hear, you know, how other kids are doing and um, how your kid kind of stands up, if you will. Um, but, yeah, the... the um, the program itself um, is good in the way of it's like a well-rounded family environment. They have um, it's they they meet with you at your home, make sure that everything is okay on you know the home side as as well as inside of the school. And any time I've ever had a, a you know an issue, um, you know they are always quick to resolve it and find you know solutions to the problem because. You're in a classroom full of two-year-olds. There's always going to be somebody wanting a block, or somebody wants this or that, or you know. So it's just nice to know that you know you have a personal relationship with them, and and they are um, you know always looking after your child when you can't. Um, the reason I am here on policy council is because I am involved in my child's education, and. Even at the preschool level, I think that it's important to be involved and to know what's going on. Um, I see this as practice for Parent Teacher Association when he gets older. And I just love um, volunteering in his classroom and just go and hang out with the kids and read to them and you know hear their stories and what they're learning. And It's a great program and I'm very happy for it. Me, myself being involved with Head Start and learning about Head Start and what everything I can, I can do as a parent, I love um, being with the program. I am part of the Policy Council. I am president of the Policy Council, and I love it. It keeps me involved. I know what my children are going through. I know what they're learning. I love every minute of it. I love the people, um, the activities. I enjoy the activities. It keeps my kids active. Um, they get to meet other children. It's, it's a very good program.